Hey guys, it's Gavin here, and today I'm actually going to teach you guys how to get started with the Shopify app. If you are new to this channel, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Anyways, I'm going to jump right to it. This is the stuff you need. Um, I have, well, and we'll have the links for this below. Um, so yeah, go ahead and download this file right here. Um, the Shopify guys have a great tutorial, by the way, and this is this. This particular GitHub file has all the stuff that you need, um, including all the different steps. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download this, like that. You're going to need to have Node.js downloaded. Go ahead and download this. And you're also going to need Ndrog downloaded. And I have the link for these below. Um, so go ahead and download this. This is free, by the way. And uh, Visual Studio Code. <laughs> account obviously so go ahead and create one or log in and then click create app so this is where you're gonna create the name of the app so I'll just do sample uh, app I'll just call it app cool and then this is where you're gonna enter the app URL and uh, redirect so this is actually where you're gonna need to go to ngrok and what you're going to want to do is ngrok http 3000 like that and then take this right here wait nope no it's this one actually yeah take the ngrok website like that one that redirects to http 3000 and paste it on your app right here and right here and it's very important to have this as HTTPS, otherwise it might give you some errors. And one last thing, last thing, um, you're gonna wanna place one of these on it, the auth callback. Oh. Yeah, you're gonna need an auth callback and just one more of these. So those are the two whitelisted URLs. So make sure this has HTTPS again, and then go ahead and create the app like that. So that is all done. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is actually configure the app with the API keys and the API secret. Um, so just uh, copy the API key. And then go over to Studio Code. All right, there we go. So I have the starter app opened. And uh, what you're gonna do is uh, open a new terminal like that. So that is ready. I just opened the starter app and the first thing you're going to want to do is npii to install all the dependencies and after a few minutes that should be all ready and set up. You're not going to see this error right here. This is just on my computer. I try setting up PHP and now I get this error every single time. What we're going to want to do is uh, set up a, a new file called env, so it's a dot env, like that. And then we're also going to create another file, let's just Shopify API key equals, uh, yeah, just put, put the API key there, and then here, copy it, and uh, place it right there, okay. Okay guys, so once you have the process.env set up, and the env file created with the Shopify API key in there, um, you just need to go to your terminal, and then um, do npm run script dev. So we're going to run this script right here on the on the package.json right here, the node server.js. And what this does is uh, it runs this right here. So by the way, hit that like button if you like this so far and uh, make sure to subscribe because hey, I'm 
looking to grow this channel, you know? You know you know what I'm saying? And I can't do that without you subscribing, so Oh come on, slow computer. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now it's doing something. I was a little bit concerned there for a second. Here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. Any second now. Oh, by the way, this is, uh, I think I explained it earlier, but you're not going to see this right here. You shouldn't see it right there, unless you set up PHP wrong like I did. That's exactly what I did. I set up PHP wrong, and I always get this. Always. Every single time. Hmm. <laughs> I was like, what ifs? What ifs? Looks like something went wrong. Oh wait, something did not go wrong. Ready on HTTP 3000. So, if we go over here to HTTP 3000, it should have, um, it should be on this website right here now, because that's HTTP 3000. So what next is create the install link. So, to store. To install the store, what we need to do is paste this link right here. But, um, change this right here to the our address and this right here to the Shopify store. So my address is what it's this right here. So I'll just deconstruct this right here and uh, like that. But this needs to be HTTPS. So there, there we have it. We have the new link and where I'm going to install it. If you don't have a development store, you can, you can create a development store with uh, Shopify partners, like right here, and uh, create a new one. Guys, I am here on my development store and I am all logged in. As you can see, it's this right here. And what I'm going to do is actually get this link right here and then paste it right here. So there we go, let's say ngrok server, is that how you pronounce it? And it's going to go ahead and ask me if I'm okay with installing, install. A few moments later. Okay, so there we have it. So it's just a sample app using Jack and Node.js. That is the app. And it's installed. And that's uh, that's the main page. Now if I go here to apps, I should see uh, the app that I just installed. It's this one right here. It's just app. Ta-da! It's just a sample app using React and JS. If I wanted to change that to something like, um, if I wanted to change that to something else, like subscribe to subscribe and like this video, I would do that. And this is uh, all based off of uh, React. Um, there we go. See? It's real time. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to continue with this tutorial, make sure to click on this link below where it'll take you to this right here with the Shopify app with Node and React. And uh, you'll learn how to do the rest. And